Good morning, I'm James Lopez, president at HomeFi Corporation, and this is today's mortgage and real estate market update. Now, the time of recording, mortgage bonds are up about 45 basis points, um, and 10-year yield treasury, the 10-year yield is down about uh, seven basis points um, when we started this recording. Now, what that really means for mortgage rates this morning is that mortgage rates are probably gonna open a little bit better than what they were yesterday. Now, the mortgage bond was testing that uh, statistical resistance level, the second resistance level, and it's kind of broken through that right now. Um, so it's kind of moving up pretty sharply right now at the mortgage bond price, which is good for interest rates, uh, mortgage rates. Um, there's room to go on the upside, um, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens as far as news today and, and how that really plays out. So right now it looks like mortgage rates may open um, better and could reprice for, um, for the better today, um, unless there's some, some crazy news. And speaking of crazy news, everybody knows the past few weeks, What's really been the news driver in the mortgage market and the, or the mortgage bond market and the treasury market has been inflation. Inflation is the enemy of bonds. And so we know that inflation has been the key driver in everything. Um, but news came out this morning of de-escalation that's happening in Ukraine and Russia right now and that conflict inside of Ukraine. Now, this is a double-edged sword. We've had this news cycle before where they said, hey, we're going to de-escalate and then it didn't happen or whatever. So it's definitely something to watch. But basically what's going on is the hyperinflation fears that were there because of the commodity prices remaining high, that's starting to ease off a little bit. Um, and so the inflation fear is starting to ease off just a little bit. Maybe it's not gonna be quite as bad as it was gonna be with a continued conflict in Ukraine and Russia. Oil was down from 100 to, uh, 107 to $100 um, this morning. So these commodity prices are starting to creep back down on this news. And, um, and so are the inflation worries that's starting to kind of creep back down on some of this news. Again, it's a double-edged sword. We'll see what the news day holds. Um, but right now, that's kind of what's driving the mortgage bond in the treasury market. Now, in other news, FHFA house price index was released this morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And the house price index showed that from uh, December 2021 to January 2022, home prices rose 1.6%. Now from January 2021 to January 2022, home prices rose 18.6%. That's a huge increase. The Case-Shiller Index was released as well today. That's called the House Price Index. That was released as well today. And it basically echoed those same numbers uh, with a you know, couple of um, decimal points off, but it echoed the same numbers. Now what this means is that Americans across the country, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks, homeowners across the country have more equity in their homes. Now that's a good thing, some people are sitting on that, but that's opportunity to be able to do a few things. Maybe some of those homeowners have some high credit card debt or um, higher interest loans, personal um, personal loans or, or vehicle loans or anything like that. You can take the cash out of your house, the equity out of your house, consolidate all that into your house payment and lower your monthly bills by several hundred dollars, sometimes in some cases thousands of dollars, just by consolidating your debt. There could be some homeowners that have been waiting for that kitchen remodel or that bath remodel. Those are opportunities for those homeowners to be able to use the cash that's in their house right now and be able to get some of those things done. And then there's we've had we've done several um, several uh, files where homeowners have used the equity to actually go out and buy an investment property. So start to expand their you know their real estate portfolio and got some real estate moguls starting to come out of that. Yeah, so great opportunities um, with all of this appreciation and the home prices that have rise, uh, risen. Um, a lot of opportunity for those homeowners. Now, we do know also that that house, um, you know, those home prices going up has been kind of a, a, a deterrent for some people to buy. You know, so we've got interest rates rising, got home prices going up. So some people have um, not been, you know, been a little bit more reluctant to purchase a home. But remember, we've always talked about rents have increased too. And in more than, in, in half the states, it's more expensive to rent than to own right now in over half the United States. So just some things to, to think about and consider um, as we're going through this. Um, later this week, in other news, later this week, we got the tomorrow we have the ADP jobs report that's gonna come out. Um, we also have Mortgage Bankers Association um, weekly application data that's coming out. And then also we've got the BLS jobs report that's coming out on Thursday, plus some other news. We're gonna bring that to you as it comes. And we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this house price index tomorrow, give you some more detail, some of the inner workings of this house price index from the FHFA um, and uh, give that to you. All right, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Head over to Facebook, like our page. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. And uh, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.